Hi, one and all, welcome. Finally done. The 2023 Brick GP Lego Winter Village is done. Wow, I've been working my socks off for the last few days. Really, really hard work, but I'm really happy with it. And guys, I can't wait to show you around. So bear with me and you're gonna to wanna to stick to the end because trust me, the lights are going on today and you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. It is quite something, so stick around. Right, and I've kind of hopefully fixed the quiff a little bit. I looked quite bad in the first shot, but hey. And uh, just one last thing I wanna do, shout out to the amazing Christmas t-shirt, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Gotta love a little bit of them. So let's go. So the million dollar question I think with this is where do I start? Because there is just so much going on this year. Um, but hey, should we start at the top, work our way down? I think that sounds like a good plan. So at the top this year, as I mentioned in the previous videos, I wanted to isolate things a little bit and have the Christmas section with the elves bit separate from the rest. So we've got a little hill, as you can see, with a ski slope down here, working our way up to the top. We've got Santa's sleigh house, his toy shop, and the elf house. Let's have a little look at those in a bit more detail. So the elf house was an amazing Christmas set. Absolutely love it. Managed to kit it out with a few more elves. We've got the Cheeky Elves Workshop going on here, and they're working hard making presents and toys for all the kids. And then down below, we've got the sleigh house. And I noticed Lucas has put a cheeky elf there in the sledge there, so he's going to probably be flying out of there over, I don't know, Belgium or something. Um, but hey, we've got on the rest of the hill, we've got the Alpine Lodge, which we made this week. Uh, the kids mainly made that, to be fair. Absolutely loved it. We've got a friend's ski lodge as well down here at the bottom. Obviously not as good as the Alpine Lodge, but hey, it follows a similar sort of theme going on. Um, so Lily wanted to make a little bit of a sort of ski shop, ski rental place out here. So I let her go away and build some of those things. So we've got some helmets, ski poles and skis. All the surfboards actually gone down the slope. We've got a customer here trying to get some skis with her dog. Um, going up here, have you spotted the Brick GP? Yes, there he is. In all his glory doing a home visit or possibly going to do some skiing. I think I'm probably going to do some skiing if I had the choice. But hey, um, lovely little minifigure I got um, from a Facebook group that I'm on. Absolutely love her. She's absolutely cool with a rucksack. Going about to eat the slope and have some amazing fun. As we work our way down the ski slope, got some anxious people waiting to get on. A couple of snowboarders. And yes, yeah, snowboarders, you spent about 50% of your time on the hill on your bum, so had to had to put that in. A um, couple of skiers and a couple of people having some incidents down here. So you've got one guy who's fallen over, who's stuck in the snow, and another guy whose legs are hanging out. As mentioned before, the toilet from the Alpine Lodge is here. A couple of characters from Dreams, because I just think they are incredible. Absolutely love them with Z-Blob there. We got the ice rink, uh, which has been worked on a little bit more. A couple of little kids skating on there. We've got some explorers climbing up the hills up to the main street. And then we've got the um, vendor of the um, Luminec, word's gone, but hey. <laughs> Ice skating equipment there. And then moving our way up to the main street. So I've not got the tram going because uh, it requires the air powered up function to be open and I'm not sure I can film at the same time. Um, but quite a lot going on. So if we just move the tram out of the way. So we've got the two main tram stops um here and down the line here uh, so we've got a little food and coffee uh, shop here so they're selling sort of hot dogs coffees and whatnot i've uh, got a few little people having a lot of fun with their shopping bags their hot drinks and their pastries i've um, got the pizzas which they got from the pizza shop up above we'll go around there in a second with the lights on again hang around for that and then some of my market stores in a bit more detail now they're populated people buying some lovely pies People trying to sell things, extra, extra, selling newspaper. We've got one band here, bit of an interesting, weird band, but hey, that's Lucas's interest coming in. Um, so you've got some Kermit the Frog, some from the video series, got a fawn. Um, I was hoping to do like a Narnia-esque scene, but I didn't get around to it this year, maybe for next year. And we've got some people enjoying some time on the bench. And then we're moving our way across to the Harry Potter part of it, the music shop. The expanded toy shop, the pizza house, and the vet and pet shop. Then we work our way back down again. So if we follow the pathway down the steps, go across, cross at the tram stop, down the stairs, across 
the ice rink lake and then to the party i've got a lot of people here checking out the concert and the festivities a lot of fun going on there lots of band members singing lots of toing and throwing everyone having a great time we've got a santa visit going on here with the kids getting all their presents lining up beautifully and we've got a little reindeer display going on here and then the Santa's Visit set, which is just absolutely lovely. Um, I've got to say, for me, it's probably my favourite one. Absolutely loved making this one a few years ago. Then in the background, we've got a couple of little scenes here with some reindeers in the forest. And we've got some of the Winter Wonderland protectors here being attacked by some gnarly gnomes. So they've got to keep us safe. We've got the Alpine Lodge um, skidoo type thing um, picking up his uh, tree from the forest. And then... This was a project I've only finished this afternoon, and I've got to say, I think it's one of my best trees ever. Multiple layers, really, really worked hard on this one. Really happy with the end results. Um, I'll probably be posting a lot of pictures of this one on Instagram. And then we've got a few people having a little snow fight here. We've got the King of the Lion Knights, and then we've got the Black Falcons having a great old time. I loved that, making that last year really made me chuckle. So I thought, that's gonna be a tradition now. We're gonna have a snowball fight every year. and. The rogue has managed to sneak up on the unprepared um, lion knight here. Gonna get a, snow full of, a face full of snow here in a second. And then to finish things off at the front, we got the train station. So Luke was, say, was saying to me, Daddy, is that me and you posting my letter to Santa? And I think, you know what? Why not? A lot of fun there. But someone waiting for their train. Oh, didn't stop. He's gonna have to catch the next one. And then we've got Harry coming to try and get to Hogwarts on the train. And then inside here, we'll open that with the lights on so you can actually see what's going on. A couple of reindeers, someone trying to feed them. So yeah, I think it's time for the lights. So are you ready? Three, two, one. So check it out, everyone. Now I think, not to blow my own horn, but I think that is pretty incredible. Um, I'm absolutely loved getting these lights on. Um, getting them on for the first time, seeing what it was like. Hard work, and I appreciate there's wires and things everywhere. But hey, bear with me. First time, rookie, never done it before. So I've got to say I'm pretty happy with it myself, but I, I'm going to work on it next year, try and do some wire management a little bit more. So let's go around in a bit more detail. Let's go backwards this time, shall we? So again, starting off at the train station. So as you can see from inside here, so we've got someone getting some tickets for their train. And then we've got the person on the platform. We've got our deers again here. And then we've got, as we said, Harry and another member of the Gryffindor uh, school getting to Hogwarts and then moving to the concert. I think the concert makes a massive difference. Check it out. We've got the light trail. And here we go. Doesn't that look great? Really, really happy with that one. A lot of fun making that. Santa's visit, a couple of glowy lights in the front. Brilliant. Working our way to the back. Try not to fall over things in the dark. Looking great. Let's go around the back, shall we? So I'll start with the one that I'm least happy about, which is the pet shop. Uh, although I'm happy with the pet shop side of it, it's just I've made it a bit too big. So we've got some frogs in there, we've got a gerbil, we've got some fish, and we've got scabbers, well, Hey, not meant to tell you that, but hey, yes, it's Scabbers. And we've got some dogs and cats in the front. And at the top, meant to be a bit of a vet surgery, but had to rush it a little bit to get the video out in time. Then on the restaurant, flipping pizzas. Always absolutely love a fresh pizza. And we've got our people having a lovely time in the restaurant. Harry having some ice cream. People having a lovely time having their pizza. And then the back of the toy shop next. So as you can see, he managed to get the Lego section in. What kind of toy shop doesn't have Lego? Uh, with some amazing models as well. Uh, train, plane, truck, video game section here. And down below, someone's can't wait to buy his model boat. And then some of the toys that came with the set. We've got the music shop next door. Absolutely love this one. I mean, it just, it reminds me of music shops where I used to get my guitars when I was younger. And then we've got Hogsmeade set as well, a lot of fun. So moving our way across now to the Elven lands. Santa's landing pad lit up at night. He's got to see where he's going. 
And we've got some lights on. Oh, she's fallen over. Let's fix her up. So we've got the workshop lit up and we're having a disco in the toy, so toy shop section. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, to be fair, that was a bit of a surprise from the light kit that I got, um, that the last one just lit up and did different colors. So I thought, you know what? Perfect, let's do it. And as you can see in the Elf House as well, so that, I'm not gonna have you standing here for a long, long time, but that changes color as well. So that's pretty apt and just fits it perfectly, doesn't it? Alpine Lodge, all lit up as well. Looks a absolute dream. Really, really love this set. And then the friend set. So uh, guys, don't know what you think. Oh, I forgot one thing. <gasps> How did I forget it? Well, let's have another little look at the GP visit as well at the front of the Alpine Lodge. And then down here, all lit up in his cabin, we've got the Snow Yeti. Oh no. Wait for the train to go and check it out. Isn't that pretty cool? So yeah, a last little overview and I'll take you around without my noisy noisiness talking. So depending on when you're watching this, I hope you have a lovely Christmas for 2023, are having a lovely Christmas, or have had a lovely Christmas. Um, but yes, as I said again, it's so much fun. Really loved making this year's Winter Village. Trust me, if you can, just do something. It's so much fun. Get a set, and if you can't have a set, build something. It doesn't take much. Just a little bit of white on top to simulate some snow, um, and you can get something started. It's so much fun. The kids have really enjoyed both building it with me and just watching it come up. And they've just stared at it for hours. Um, really, really so much fun. Um, so I hope, as I said, everyone's had a lovely Christmas or having a lovely Christmas or will have a lovely Christmas. I'm not saying it one more time, that's enough for me. Um, but hey, I've really had a lovely time. I wish you all the best for 2024. And um, whether you celebrate Christmas or not, have a lovely time in your holidays with your family and loved ones. And I'll see you back in 2024.